An electric worker is dismantling insulators on a high voltage line. So, why are there strings of insulators on high voltage lines? How do they work? In addition to the white ceramic insulators in the picture, there are also insulators made of glass, rubber, and other materials. In addition to fixation, as its name suggests, insulation is its greatest use. This is because the voltage of high voltage lines is very high, usually about 10,000 volts. And the power transmission distance is very long. If it were covered with an insulating shell like household electrical wires, the thickness of shell required for the high voltage line of 500,000 volts is as high as 11 dm. This will result in high costs. Wrapping the insulation shell will also increase the weight of high voltage lines and extend the erection distance. In addition, a thick insulating shell wraps the high voltage wires. This makes it very difficult to dissipate heat and may cause safety issues. Therefore, high voltage lines are basically directly exposed to the air, but in this way, when the high voltage wire carrying current passes through the telephone pole, the current will follow back to the earth along the cement and steel bars, which is very dangerous. So, people thought of adding an insulator between the line and the insulating road to reduce the occurrence of electrical flashover due to electric field lines. Let's take a look at the various types of insulators produced by TTF factory and made of various materials.